Hello guys, in this video I will talk about how to define new environments in LaTeX. Environments are used to format blocks of text. Some of the examples are equation, align, and uh, center. Here you can see how we use them in, our, in the LaTeX document. First, we are using begin command and in the curly brackets we are writing our uh, environment name and then uh, between we are providing the uh, things we want to put inside the environment and lastly we are uh, closing the environment by using end comment and to define our environment we will use new environment command and here you can see the general syntax first with a backslash we are writing new comment then inside the first curly brackets, we are providing the name of the new environment. Then inside the, curl, uh, the square brackets, we uh, input the number of arguments. Then uh, the default value for the first argument in the another square brackets. And uh, here uh, we provide the begin command, uh, like what LaTeX should do at the beginning. And lastly, we provide end code, what the LaTeX should do at the end of the environment. So this is the general syntax. And now I will show you some examples. But before that, I can give you some example uh, from currently defined environments. For example, one of them is equation. And we are starting with begin equation and then we are closing an equation and we need to okay let's say for example y is equal to ix plus one we are writing the, our equation inside the environment let's make it auto compile and let's see the result here it is okay so this is one kind of environment equation as you see it appears at the center and then letters are italic and also we have a number here so that's how equation environment behaves and now we will define our new environment okay so for that let's write new environment and inside the curly brackets we are writing the name of our environment let's say it's site code and i am saying that i okay let's keep it simple for now and this is the begin part and this is the end part if i don't provide anything for the begin code it will do nothing and the same for uh the end part and let's let's use it for example let's say begin and our okay so this is our new environment and I will just say this is an example let's read compile and you see that nothing is special like it's like writing the uh, this sentence into the text because we didn't specify anything related to begin part or end part okay so this is the begin part and this is the end part okay so let's start with providing something here first let's say no in that okay we are not indenting the text as you see uh, we remove the indentation then Let's say we are starting with a code environment and we need to end code environment here. Okay. So now it looks like a code. Okay, because we are using code environment. We are starting with it and we are ending with it. Okay. Now this is how it looks like. And also I can provide some input. Uh, let's see. Code 
and double that. And you can see how it looks like. Okay, and I am going to say code by and number one. And I need to put one here, which indicates that it has one input. Okay, and we need to provide that input here uh, because we didn't have it just got the first one, which is this. And is that I will say uh, coding perspective first. Okay, code by coding perspective. This is an example. And I can even make it italic. Okay, let's see. Now our environment is getting uh, interesting. And I can even make it a default value. Like I can write here, coding perspective. Now, I don't need to write this part here because I already defined it uh, as optional. So if I am going to provide this coding perspective part, I need to put it inside the curl square bits instead of the curly ones. Because now this input is optional. Okay. And so this is the example. And I can even remove it because my default value is coding perspective. And you see that uh, it will render the same thing. And let's give an, an, another example. Okay, begin our environment site code. And this time let's write to be or not to be. That is the question. Okay, one of the famous uh, quotation by Shakespeare. And you see we are putting perspective here. And to change it, we are just writing inside square brackets, Shakespeare. And we obtain our result. Okay, so this is how you can define the environment. You can also uh, do other things. For example, you can take two inputs and you can put the second uh, argument here. And for that, of course, we need to provide what it is. Let's say this is empty. And also here, let's say this is empty. So we have a blank because we have a blank here. So let's remove it. And it's removed. And inside here, uh, I can write a famous play writer. Okay. And you can see the second uh, input or that's the first monetary argument. So that's why I am putting in the curly brackets. And I think this is all about uh, defining name environments. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any question, uh, please leave a comment. Hope to see you in the next videos.